Good morning. Here's a demo. Right, this is the demo we've got here. So five for a Caverland. It's a 3400S is the model on it. Taking off the Kubota, we'll get it onto the fent over there. And we'll go and have a spin with it and see what it's like. It's blown a hoolie, but um, he's just changed it from transport mode into plowing mode. There's a few pins and whatnot to change. Looks a good piece of kit, but we'll see how it goes. Right, we're swapped over there. I'm just gonna go get a top link for uh, the stone grate because that needs four spools for every operation, of which two, once it's set up, we won't need to move. Basically, the, the top link on the stone grape is hydraulic, so we've lost a spool to that, and uh, a bit of a faff. Once it's set up, it's fine. It's just getting set up. There's a wee bit of uh, hydraulic issues because um, we could do with another empty spool valve. would be nice. This, that's what I'm after. Right, we'll head up to the field with this. We've got um, extra weights in the front, some oil drums filled with water um, because the plow is quite heavy. When we had the Lemkin, we borrowed um, a big weight block from sellers, but we need to get another. If we if we upgrade the plow, we'll need to get a bigger a bigger stone grape or a weight block. There goes the orange machine. What is that? An M7173. 173 horsepower. Does that seem about right? Looks a strong, well-built plow, but. The headstock on it has been about for donkeys, he says, so it's good and well tried and proper. Hope I don't get stuck in here. This plow wasn't meant to be coming to us today, it was meant to go to someone else who bailed out because it's too wet, but it's going to do a good job in good conditions. May as well test it when the conditions are kind of on the edge. Right, we're just getting into transport mode. Not transport mode, field mode. It's just a case of two pins down here, the wheel pin, and that's it. And the hydraulic top link. So this is fully hydraulic vario width, this demo. You can, that's an option basically. But that ram, if you don't have hydraulic vario width, you get rid of that ram, you get rid of those two bars, and then the width, you just, it's bolts rather than hydraulics. There you go, so this ram sets it in furrow or out of furrow. So this plow does both in furrow and out of furrow plowing. So if you want to go in the fire, you close it right at the end and you maybe need to adjust the, the link arms a wee bit. And again with this machine, this has a hydraulic back wheel so you can hydraulically set your depth. That is a, an option as well. Apparently sell most of them with a hydraulic wheel. Scraper on there to take the, the gunge off it. These plows are all on leaf springs. There's wee screw handles there and you can take them off and add another leaf if you're struggling. There you go, that's the hydraulic we're working. We're just fiddling about with that getting the hydraulics sorted. We've unplugged this ram in its fully extended position, so that should be working now out of furrow for the tractor. Located. Update on the tamis, the hats, the bonnets, the beanies, whatever you want to call them. It's now live. Website's down here, Globeburn Farm Shop. Beanies, caps, tamis, baby dungarees, there's hardly anything of everything. Eight of these, 10 of these. There's only four sets of these, five of these, maybe 15 of these, some caps, some kids' caps. Have a look. If you fancy them, go down there, pick it up, and I'll post it. Also on the Globeburn website, putting out a beef box. So all our Globeburn beef, which is raised on the farm, we're now selling that in a pack on our website. In the beef box, there is two sirloin steaks, a kilo of steak mince, a kilo of diced steak, half a kilo of beef sausages, one kilo topside roast, so perfect for your Sunday roast, two beef sausage rolls that are oh. raw, ready to fire in the oven, and 300 grams of stir fry strips. Look at that moustache. Anyway, Globeburn Farm Shop website. There's a Crawford's Farm tab right there. Bing. There you go, there's a beef box on the left here, and then there's tammies and bobbles and whatever you fancy. Oh, missing image. I need to sort that out. Beef box can be ordered up till this Sunday and it'll all be posted out on Tuesday, 22nd of November, next day delivery, because it's refrigerated goods. So you'll get it on Wednesday the 23rd. Cheers, back to the KV plow. Right, we're ready for action. We'll go and see how we get on. This is what the Lemkin did the other day when we had a demo of it. Conditions aren't much better, so we'll get a good comparison between that ground and the ground we're about to plow up with the KV. But the Lemkin left a good job anyway. Take that. It's just weird seeing it line up and not in the fur. So the theory is with an on-land plough, this wheel is running along this ground, which is then turned over, removing the compaction, loosening it off. Whereas 
and in for a plow you're running on that ground here and it compacts it and you're never moving it after that it's just getting flattened solid and then you're chucking soil over the top of it so so it creates a solid line every five woods you can see we're needing to do a wee bit of shifting that way gps wise just need to go a wee bit deeper skimmers are touching the ground there there we go we're getting there now there we go that's it pretty much set up and away it goes making a tidy job it's absolutely fine conditions it's it's a little bit sticky but not bad at all worms lovely like to see lots of worms healthy soil tell you what look at that that is sharp as anything that's more 90 degrees than the almost 90 degree angles i use my welding table so in theory now no compaction that's what taking the plow on land does and then when the next fur comes along and fills that in again you've not got a solid layer below blocking water getting away blocking root growth bro blocking whatever nice loose free i'm going to get a defender so i don't need to walk up and down the field so kev was here for the lemkin so we've kept kev still driving fence still pulling same field same soil type same gps what we've changed is the plow there's not really any other big variables that would have an effect so any change in the product is a direct consequence of the plow long story short we're just messing about with plows and seeing which ones fits and how much they cost that's a big factor just trying to get this going the other direction it's not burying quite deep enough at the front we we'll check the link arms and we'll shift the demo unit just to make sure they're both exactly the same length but it's still not you can see it the skimmer's just sitting up there not doing anything Better not reverse into the plow, eh? You can see it's a solid piece of kit. I've just been off the phone with someone, not going to say who, but KV and Kuden, they were um, raving about. The KV will be more expensive to buy, I would imagine, than the rest, but the replacement parts are a lot cheaper. I mean, compared four different brands, points for that for fibre, another brand, 11 quid, another brand, 24 quid and another brand 25 quid for a point so that'll be more expensive short term to initially purchase if we were to go for something like that but longer term uh, running it is a lot cheaper so swings and roundabouts look at the height so much clearance Okay, since we've got the new chill, these old chills, we've sold them, we've got two of them, and in January time we're going to have another two, so if you're interested, get in touch January time. Anyway, we're going to hopefully whip a strap around this and drag it out, it just clears below the garage door there. We didn't need the strap, we're just clearing it. Forks thankfully just reached beyond halfway, so it's managing to lift it, no bother. Just gonna take it straight to the flatbed and put it straight on. If I can see where I'm going. No, I can't, should have gone reverse. There we go, job done. It's on a trailer now um, and it's been sold. Someone's coming to pick it up. Happy days. We're getting to keep the orange tractor all weekend. Right, I've just been having a spin. It goes well, tractor's not working too hard at all. It's a solid, well-built plow. I don't think you can go too wrong with a KV plow. Just costs a few more bob, I think. We'll wait and see, we'll get a quote back. Plow metal for that, compared to a few others, is quite a lot cheaper. I've been looking into all that, and it's quite substantial, the difference in plow metal between a KV plow, Lemkin, Coon, New Holland. Here's the brochure. High performance. Pointing at some soil. Steel technology. 
hard. <laughs> that was actually quite good, just with it being a bit beefier and bigger than what we're used to. It's quite nice having it actually swing like a trailer rather than swing out and wipe a car out. Anyway, that's another demo plow. Trying to get um, a coon plow sorted out because I've heard good things. Don't forget, if you fancy a beef box or tannies, link is below or go straight to the Goldburn Farm Shop website. Adios, see you tomorrow. Thank you.